In 1800, the United States was just 11 years old. The federal government was still a fragile work in progress. The 16 states were united, but Americans were often bitterly divided. One partisan crisis after another threatened America's experiment in democracy. George Washington himself feared the bickering would tear the federal machine asunder. This tense environment gave rise to two opposing political factions, the Federalists and the Republicans, who were also known as the Democratic Republicans. Each party had its own vision for America's future. The Federalists were the party of Alexander Hamilton and John Adams. They championed a strong central government and central bank, a protective trade tariff, and a powerful navy. The Federalists aimed to create a stable and secure country that was safe for business and wealthy property owners. Their main support came from the shippers and merchants of New York and New England. Federalists believed in a loose interpretation of the Constitution. The first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, John Jay, enunciated the Federalist belief that those who own the country ought to govern it. On the other side of the debate, Thomas Jefferson and James Madison led the opposition Republicans. Their party favored a weak federal government to preserve states' rights, state banks over a national bank, and a minimal navy, primarily for coastal defense. They promoted the extension of democracy to farmers, craftsmen, and other so-called ordinary people, and drew their strongest support from the agrarian and frontier states. Republicans believed in a strict interpretation of the Constitution. To Jefferson and other Republicans, the New England Federalists were no better than the old English monarchy. The distrust and hostility between the two parties was intense. In 1800, Thomas Jefferson and President John Adams faced off in one of the nastiest presidential contests in American history. The campaign descended to a level of personal innuendo and character attacks that was stunning. Each party was utterly convinced that victory for the other would result in the certain demise of their country. In the end, Jefferson prevailed by the slimmest of margins. The triumphant candidate called his election the Revolution of 1800. Not because blood was shed, but because it was not. The event marked the first peaceful transfer of authority from one political party to another, a precedent that is followed and admired to the present day.